Hey guys, so today's video comes to you from the good grace of my desktop. And when I usually do these desktop style videos, I don't usually include the face cam. But I am here today in the corner of this particular video. And the reason I'm here is because I'm using a piece of software to record this video that I don't usually use. I am using open broadcaster software as illustrated by the website taking up most of the space of this video. Now, over the course of the past year, a good number of people have asked me for recommendations on software for various purposes. Uh, some of those purposes have been uh, people who uh, want to create uh, tutorials for various desktop applications. Some people have wanted to um, ask my advice on recording video game footage. Um, and some people have asked my advice regarding streaming. And up until recently, I've really been unable to give decent answers to any of those uh, requests. However, today uh, I am revealing to you Open Broadcaster software. Now, many of you are probably not aware of this piece of software, um, but you may very well have seen it in action, particularly if you're a fan of watching live streamers on platforms like Twitch TV or Livestream.com, because this is the kind of software you need to directly upload your content to a stream. But it's not just for streaming. This piece of software can also record as a MP4 file. And it can also record video game footage and, of course, desktop uh, usage as well. It's pretty much an all-in-one capture or video capture software. You can capture from various uh, audio and video sources and arrange them into a video directly as they feed in. Um, and it's a free and open source piece of software as well. Now at the moment it's only available for Windows but there are Mac and Linux versions being worked on right now and they should be released sometime soon. Uh, however, uh, if you are using Windows and you are looking for a nice free and open source piece of software to record video game footage, desktop tutorials or stream to the internet, I cannot recommend this highly enough. Now, it's reasonably easy enough to use, but you are going to want to read the, doc the documentation before you actually uh, sort of get stuck in because there are a lot of features to this software, which is a very good thing. Up until recently, I've been using Fraps to record my video game footage. And Fraps is a great piece of software. It's very simple, but it's also quite limiting in the amount of features it has. It also records uh, raw AVI files, or at least not very well compressed AVI files, which mean that you have to import them into your video editing software uh, and you have to scale the bitrate down so that you can actually upload them to YouTube. And if you wanted to include a face cam, you'd have to record that separately, either using your webcam or your uh, separate camera, and then layer on the um, the various sets of footage that you've acquired. And if you're requ uh, acquiring um, uh, audio from external source, maybe from like uh, an audio recorder like this, then that's an extra thing that you've got to run through the um, video editing uh, software. But the beauty about Open Broadcaster software is that it brings various streams of video and audio and it can put them into one encoded MP4 file all at once, which means I'm going to record this video and then I'm going to directly upload it to YouTube without any editing and that's going to um, be a very streamlined process. So, um, there are also a lot of features which aren't available on most of the programs that I use. The one that I particularly like is the audio latency feature. Now, one of the problems when you often record using your webcam, especially if you're recording from video game footage as well, is because of the video memory and the processor intensity and the memory intensity, the amount of memory your computer uses, it's very easy for your audio and your video for your webcam to get out of sync so that your lips might move but it might not match up with the audio. However, with the settings on Open Broadcaster software, you can actually manually adjust the latency or delay of the audio so that you don't you can override any kind of latency issues that you might have. And that's great because you can do it by the millisecond, so you can kind of do it by eye, by ear, you know, by by your sort of personal judgment. I don't know what the expression is that you'd use there. Um, and there are also uh, a whole ton of other features as well. So you can actually um, 
do a lot with this software and I recommend anyone who's the slightest bit interested in any kind of video capture to actually just take a look at this piece of software as well and uh, if you've got the cash for it uh, they accept donations on their site to help fund the project as well. So that's about it for me today, thank you very very much for watching and uh, definitely don't forget to check out Open Broadcaster Software, you can get it at obsproject.com. So that's about it for me today, thank you very 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 much for watching, until next time I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome, take care now.